Hello there, chat. How's everybody doing? Greetings and salutations to you, Tyro. Hello to you. Uh, let's see here. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Okay. Hopefully everything's working properly. Right now, Twitch says we're excellent. Streamlabs is running optimally. Chat is scrolling and the game is running. So, let's go ahead and get this party started, albeit quite late. But, here nonetheless, by saying, greetings and salutations everyone, my name is Featherhoof, and welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Adyashan. Uh, the 
reimagined, 4K'd, re re awesomified version of the greatest trilogy known to gaming kind. Am I hyping it up too much? Probably, but that's how I feel about this trilogy. Um, this stream is a little bit on the late side because um, it needed to do some updating. And for some reason, the updates took four times as long because the download speeds fell into the kibibit speeds for some unknown reason. And that sucked. But we're here now. We're going to play as much as we can today because I've been dying to play this. And I ain't going to pass up an opportunity to play it, goddammit. Uh, so, um, yeah, we're just going to dive right on into this. Um, it says, it, now, it has been forever since I've had the time to sit down and play this series. And it's, I, you know, it, outside of um, Andromeda and the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, I haven't really gotten a chance to play this keyboard and mouse, like story, especially the original Mass Effect. So uh, this is, might be interesting, to say the least. Hey there, Nick, what's happening? Uh, so let's see how well this go. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this start screen in forever. Oh my god. Love that it's still here. Extras. <laughs> Options are considered an extra, apparently. Uh, let's see if I... Okay, it already has all my stuff already. So... Motion blur. Get that the fuck off there. Motion blur. Get the fuck. I don't have it at HDR. Gameplay. Uh, let's set that to defensive, actually. Such as I save tutorials. Yeah, my tutorials. I'm gonna need to remember how to do this shit. Normal. Okay. Alrighty. Let us start. Hi, Rex! Hi, Rex! I've missed you! Ah. Uh. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Hi! Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Well, thank God for that. We should enter a new ID. A custom lady. Log in to access your profile. Ugh. I'm sorry to hear that, Nick. I hope things go well for you. Let's see. How should I do this? I don't like Jane. Let's go with... Mm, that's a good female name. How did the voting go? What voting... Uh, what are you referring to there, Tyro? God, I'm always terrible with names. <laughs> Let's see. Random lady name. Give me a random lady name. Random nature. <laughs> I like that. I like I like that. I'm gonna go with Kara. That was a cool one. This just jumped out at me. Yay! Warning. Corruption! Data corruption detected. Please reconnect I forgot all about this, Jazz. I forgot that this it started Confirm out this way. Service history. Okay, so here's what I did. Here's what I did. Um, my patrons uh, got a chance to vote on uh, how I was going to build my shepherd, what, what their backstory was going to be. So um, I'm going to open this up here, see how that, that voting went. And it looks like we have right off the bat. Between spacer colonists and earthborn, we got ourselves a tie between earthborn and colonist. So uh, I'm going to flip a coin and uh, see how that goes. Earthborns will be head, colonists will be tails. 
So, let's get this started. Yep, yep, come here. Whoop. Tails! It is Tails. So, colonist it is. We shall be und colonist. You were born and raised on Mindwa, a small border colony in the Attican tra Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwa, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Confirm psychological profile. <laughs> Can we just put damaged? Or was the pro uh, pro uh, psychological profile for just damaged? <laughs> hey there, Angel Dust. Um, but this one, this one had a clear winner uh, for the patron poll. Uh, the patrons voted for Soul Survivor. So... During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Uh, trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Okay. Confirm military specialization. Now... As I said before, I played I played the original one a lot back in the day, back when this was new. And I, I did a profile as a soldier, an engineer, an adept, and an infiltrator. Infiltrator being my favorite. Because schnipper rifles. But I never really played as Sentinel or Vanguard. So, I thought about it, consulted with some people so I knew were Mass Effect fans and players. And, and I knew that were friends of mine. And I, you know what, I, I decided I'm going to go with Sentinel. Confirm facial identification. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's see. I have to be here for a sketch. <laughs> and oh, I always hate messing with this stuff. Hmm. Stop moving around, Femshep. Hmm. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Before I go mess with that, let me let me find the uh, the hair I like. I always want to go with the hair. Find the hair I like. After after that, can I move you around a little bit? Oh, that's right. I forgot it. You go turn to the side. Oh, it's like a pull. I got a really. F Damn, that bun is pulled back far. Doesn't she have like the xenomorph skull? Holy shit! I thought I saw a ponytail in there, and you know me and ponytails. Yep, there's a ponytail there. I see it. We're gonna go with ponytail. I like it. Hair color, what are we gonna go with here? Lots of choices. Let's see. <laughs> hey there, Blacktail. <laughs> Where'd my curse go? Let's see. I kind of like this dark red. Something about the dark red I like. Hey there, Shadow Tay, what's happening? Hmm. Whoa! No! So I had a quick shoot. Hey, don't worry, I was late too. I was late as well. Hmm. I'll go with that. There we go. Let's go back in. See if we can find a decent fish structure that would go with that well with this. 
Something I don't mind. Actually, that was not too bad. Okay, I can just use I can use the arrow keys. Thank God, I I, I could just use it, or or wazd. I could just use wazd for this as well. It's not too bad. I can I can live with that. Let's go back to the skin. What was the skin tone we just had? I guess I don't. <laughs> Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, I always suck with that stuff. Uh, this stuff, I mean, there, there's so much you could do with these things, but so, I, I suck with most of it. <laughs> because I always, I always end up making this mutant. I hate doing it. <laughs> do we got any makeup? I can barely see it. The strap for my razor is on his last legs. The last part of your second. <laughs> sure you can. It's fun to complain. I do it all the time. I can barely even see it. That's actually hard to see. Hey. Oh Lord. Hmm. <laughs> Bright blue. No, no, we go to that black. Ooh. Eh, I can live with that. Oh lord, so I would not make a good lady. I I'm bad at makeuping. <laughs> I'm terrible at all the makeuping. Hmm, that doesn't look bad. Oh god. Damn it, my black tail. <laughs> I've been needed. All right. Let's see. I think I like this one. A little eyebrow and chin scar. I can, I can, I like it. Profile reconstruction complete. I like it. Let's go with that. Although, if it's anything like the original Mass Effect 1, I, restar I restarted Mass Effect 1 like 30 times the first time I played it because for some reason, my character always looked different in the character creator than it did in the full game. And it always, it always ended up weird. So let's see how this turns out. Identification confirmed. Uh, no, did it, did it, did it. Level scaling, what's this? In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent point progression remains the same, but the numbers of levels is doubled. Huh. Well, you know, it, it, let's, let's try the new mode. I've played, I played the old mode a million times. Let's try the new mode. Here we go. Here we go, baby! Finally. Oh, that well, music. what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. 
She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Got some facial Everybody facial ones. Scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Maybe. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Keith motherfucking David! I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers of the Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of the incredible technology was the force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it... Mass Effect. Red shirt. <laughs> we are connected. Calculating transit Oh, I miss you. I missed you. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Oh god, the All SR1. It's been so long since I've seen the SR1. Oh. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Hi, Joker. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Hi, Nihilus! I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. <laughs> Call me paranoid. You're okay, paranoid. paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Hmm... I agree. Send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ether Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Oops. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Uh. Seems that... angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> Might have something to do with the fact that you're Seth Green. Probably that. You escape. Whee! Squad. Squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Move out. Man, this looks so different. Oh my god, it looks so different. Holy crap. Oh, I'm not used to this. I am not used to this. Holy shit. Hmm. Okay, so some things I know I want. Some things I know I'm going to stay away from, for at least for now. Hmm. Start with three points to put. Can I not... Hello? Undo tell Let's see. Mm. So I do want to unlock electronics as soon as possible. Sabotage is a nice skill. 
Mirror was also nice. Lift would be nice as well. Barrier is also nice. Let's put another description, one barrier. And. Ooh. Definitely some first aid. There we go. All right. Yeah. All right. I don't have a helmet yet. <laughs> mm, I think we got to go speak with the captain. I think that's what we got to do. <laughs> and then the thing you can sit here and listen to for Roughly hours. 1200 years ago, the the Systems Alliance is an independent... Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Sweet! Nice little save right off the bat. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, it's... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the, what's the talk button? How do I put my weapon away? Whoa, I think I need to look up what buttons do what now. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, where is my... Key bindings. There we go. Uh, equipment, disqualify uh, codex. Melee, freeze for saying. Most of it. H. Oh my god. Use some... We, maybe, oh god. Hold on, H, there we go. How do I talk? Ah, space. Captain waiting, Commander. But I like keeping Captain's people waiting. waiting. In the room, Commander. But, but keeping people waiting is the fun part. Hello? Anyone want to have a chit chat? Hi, Presley. Congratulations, I can totally Commander. relate with this guy. I can totally ride. relate with him. You heading down to see the Captain? <laughs> Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Too Spectre's many questions. Operatives Too many questions. Years. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? doesn't add up what do you know about the stealth systems I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors cutting-edge technology the Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive but why are we fully staffed a skeleton crew would be cheaper less chance of security leaks too plus there's Nihilus it's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover for what damned if I know commander we're out here on false pretenses I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, man. <laughs> but I can't figure out you what better I'm not. Here. Captain Anderson is voiced by Keith May the fucking Davis. Forces, officers in a service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. As we should. Don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. The hell I can't! I guess not. <laughs> but it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel. Human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. Oh, you're just Nihilus being nervous. Like some heavy action. <laughs> I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> don't put him in the air, Luck. I like Nihilus. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Captain's in charge here. He oh, Dr. Chuck was. I missed no, your voice. Story, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. 
What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I that's the that's the talk of a, of a uh, red shirt. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coup. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Uh... Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Wait till you see me in action. You'll be sorely disappointed. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Oh, hey, Commander, those humanists! Spectre, they're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I. That's it. I'm going to shoot you myself. You did that. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. Yes, 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 but how much can I shoot there? The at night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta mm. be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Only oh, the commanding officer made. Oh, that's right. I can't do that yet. Oops. Okay, so shift is. Okay, so space is, space is run as well as talk to people. That is a weird combination. But okay. And shift is to bring out my weapon. Oh, and also to change my weapons, it looks like. Neat. That's going to take some getting used to. Hello! Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I like your face paint. in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Um, I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you threatening me? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission <laughs> is far We're... more than a simple shakedown run. We are going to Space Chipotle! I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. 
Because we don't want people to know that we're going to Chipotle. Because if everyone knew, then they would all ask to, be, to get some stuff from there as well. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Uh... Well, that just sounds dickish. <laughs> um... Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The just like us, we're always looking for more power. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's don't don't tell him I cheated! I used life hacks! Specters. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Sex. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Ooh. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of things. I know! But everyone <laughs> agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. So kill them all. Got much it. Bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Right. Kill everything. Got it. Ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. Right. Kill. Got it. Humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species, and after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. I, I, all I'm hearing is just kill everything. That's all I'm hearing. So I'm, I'm, all, so I'm all about it. All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small... That's it. Everyone get your ass to Mars. We need to find this shit. This beacon. What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. War is yes. fun, especially in video games. Some of the species in the Terminus Not in real life, but in video games, yes. War over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just All right. word, Captain. Let's we go shoot some shit. Captain, we got a problem. What's Don't we always? Captain? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down!
Focus! Focus! <laughs> the hand of God has arrived. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. He counted. <laughs> Ooh, Nihilus' little mandibles twitched. Status report. 17 minutes out. He likes what he no sees. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Well, I mean, if I must. I mean, it's not like I enjoy going down and shooting things, but okay. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight what? to the site. What? About what? Captain? I can't hear you through this Helping helmet! Survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Uh, okay. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. No, it's not. It's Nihilus's. You just said so. We are approaching drop. Don't point give two. me mixed signals. Fucking mixed signals over here. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Ah, and that's got it. Okay. Q and E does that. Hard, Keep your guard up. Wait. Okay. So it doesn't have the it doesn't have the circle radial thing I'm used to, with um. Oh, right, but that's what puts it puts away too. It doesn't have the circle radio that I'm used to when playing on the console. It has everything just on the sides here. Caden has no. Uh, uh, Jenkins has no skills. Kane's got uh, throw and sabotage on him already. Good. I've got my sabotage, my barrier, and my throw. Good. Five med packs, five grenades. All right. Can I take. Where's my. Beep! Die! Die! Wait, didn't it just say right in. What? Wait, you got a problem? Not now, Commander. Floating shit sack! Don't worry, I saved the universe from the floating shit sack. Oh, that's right, there's stamina in the game. I forgot about that. I forgot about being fatigued. With the third wheel. Um, bad things. Let me just switch weapons of your squad. Okay, good. All right, I can do that. Yep, yep. All right. Who needs a shooting? Yeah, send the red shirt first. There we go. Wee! Where'd you go? Gotcha! How do I take cover? Damn it. I blame you, Caden. 
We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. All right, let's see. How do I... Oh, that's a weird way to do it. Okay, I can I can live with that. Got the floaty shit sack. Okay. Oof. Can't just like. Is there like a way to move up? Or do I, just, I have to exit cover to get to a new cover. The ninja squad members object jail can be used to bypass decryption and electronic challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. All right. Floaty shit sack. Kill it. Got it. Don't worry. No floaty shit sacks, shit sacks will get any of you when I'm around. Don't you worry. I got you. Ah! Yep. Gotcha. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. Scene levels use squadron to improve team's abilities. Press skip to. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Hi, kitty! Hit a bit. Itty bit. Actually, can I? Oh, wait, did we level up? Oh, no, it's just Caden didn't. Description, uh... the transfer states. Oh, he's a sentinel too. I forgot about that. I thought I thought he was an adept. He's a sentinel. I forgot about that. Shit. We got two sentinels in the group. Take a little barrier. Uh, see, he, he doesn't really need first aid, does he? You know what? Get that hell out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't. Eh, what was auto building through decryption? Yeah, screw it. You're just gonna, you're gonna, you're just gonna auto. Screw that. All right. Floaty shit sack! Don't worry, you are safe. Z. I use left shift to order targets or use Z to attack targets. Q and E to have specific C to regroup to follow. Okay. Q and E to assist squad mates ahead. Proceed to call them back. Ah! Got him! Floaty shit sack! Got it! Okay, hold on a minute. I'm still actually there was another reason I wanted to go into squad because I wanted to find out how do I Let's see, hold on a minute. Wait, how do I set them to my hotkeys up there? Or do I have to Does I have to do this? Huh. That's weird. Then why do they have the hotkeys up there? Now, where are you at? Kane, how'd you lose all that health? How did you do that? How dare you lose all that health? Let's see. Man, it's been so long since I've done this. Holy shit. It's the space racist. It's dead, Jim. Don't worry. We only go to probe you. Oh, we missed. Oh, it's only some gas. Get over it. Hi! I help. Let's see, I'm gonna use some um, let's see. We'll sabotage your weapon. Got him! Thank you for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. 
Well, that's your fault. I got some equipment. Ooh. Equipment screen looks different than I remember. <laughs> this is all kinds of the better. How do I... There we go. How do I... Okay. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. I'll tell you that much. Now, where you at? Ashley, where'd you go? Oh, hello. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. Uh -huh. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Because they heard there was a space Chipotle they here. To come for the beacon. Or that. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after Tale as old as time. Disappeared behind the Perseus Vale. Ellie! Hi, Ellie! Sense. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know Ugh. much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. <laughs> what happened leading up to the attack? We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers? Oh, wait, I, I don't know. Some. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was Have with you them. seen a Turian specter around? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. Good if point. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. All right. Move out. We out you. Okay. Eh. Auto level me up because I really don't care. <laughs> Take that helmet off. Take that damn helmet off. Let's see. I just did. Now, where was that treasure chest I saw? There it is. I see you. You will give me your contents. Chemical rounds, anti personnel rounds. I will take them. Can I equiperate those? Alright, what do I got? Anti personnel round. Popular with power scanners, these rounds. Could... Yes, please. There we go. Maybe, Shadowtail. Maybe. Is this where I came from? Or is this where I'm going? Oh, I know. This is where I came from. Because I remember I remember getting stuff out of that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. Alrighty. Moving on forward. Gonna find stuff. Well, there's uh, some interesting redecorating they're doing, you know? Right to the waypoint to take cover behind a rock. Okay. Oh, I have to be running to do it, or? Wait. Where's the object? Wait. I'm trying to approach it. Control. Wait. Oh, that's right. I didn't have my weapon out. Hey! 
I don't want to sit here and use a throw on you. Whoop! <laughs> Whoop! Just come on, get in. There we go. Gee. Gotcha! Anyone else? Oh, there is. Okay, um. I'm going to use a little sabotage on you. Check it on mine. Got him. Pit. Let's see. Um. Need to appear? Have Reaper to appear. Huh, indeed. Care to elaborate upon that, huh? A banshee and a hammer, I take. Oh, hello. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Oh, is that all? Okay. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Uh-huh. Check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. That man was still alive when they stopped him on the spike. Killing us isn't enough. The Geth want us to suffer. Right. That's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It used to be beautiful here. I don't know. It's not that bad. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the the human sacrifices don't, you know, add much to the decor. But, I mean, hey, you know, it's, it's got a little character. You know, a few battle scars give, give anything, even even the environment, a little, you know, character. Nothing wrong with that. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> hey, Static Charge, thank you so very much. <laughs> Still alive. Um, it seems fun for me so far. Uh, I'm still trying to uh, get used to the new controls, though, but. All right, where's you at? Hi. Gotcha. Come on. There you are. Um, whoop. Okay, that did nothing to him. That was a little annoying. Are you dead? He dead. Anyone else? Anyone else want some? I've got more bullets. Oh god. Sound design on that is weird. Hello? Ooh, mine. I'll take you. I'll take you. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. That door. Space up. Security locks engaged. Some lock locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has required talent, you'll be able to unlock the object using decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omni Gel. Alright. Advance to the central core. Move to the mouse around the left and right click to move inward and outward. Avoid the security programs. Alright. Ah! Got it! That is weird. That is a weird Humans. one. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. Aww. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? Check the spines. It all happened so fast. One second, we were they gathering have a script. Oh, yeah. The next, we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Hey, Agents Flack. What's happening, Bo? Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move. 
until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Mm. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. Ooh, we have pizza. A Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows sure it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. We yep. Have sure. The heart of evil. Awaken the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, the darkness. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel Should I kill him? A brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> Sister, you're preaching to the choir. To see the destruction rushing towards us, to understand there is no escape, no hope. No, I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I can shoot him. <laughs> no, that's not. That's... Fuck it. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. Ah, it's you can't fine. just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. There we go. Williams. I did good. Spaceport. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> I got plus nine renegade on that one. <laughs> yes. Is there something you need? We better get moving. Good luck, Commander. Oh, that's funny. Is that a... No, that's not... I thought it was a thing. It's a little bit of a prick on that one, but hey! That was fun! Can't be a pure Paragon! <laughs> Gotta be a little Renegade every, every once in a while. Sarah. Hi. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. So, I wasn't expecting to find the Yeah, game. there you go. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Oh, I can tell. Well, what is that? If you gotta oh, sleep, you'll get some sleep, man. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Bye! Have a beautiful time! Is there anything supposed to search your local physician? Search your local physician or Shepard. Shepard will do something about it. Ah, crap! Why am I not? There we go. Uh, wait. You. Uh, throw you. No, throw. No, I want to throw him. That one. That one. Thank you. Boop. Get out of here with that shit. Uh, I'm gonna put a barrier up. Is that stack up there? There we go. Hey, boss down. Stop running in circles! What the fuck is he doing? Gotcha! Dead? Caden, is there a reason you're standing out in the open? Me too. Oh. Let's see. Okay, I need boop 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 boop. There we go. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Can right, so I can shoot you on? easier. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, 
I still can't believe it. <laughs> I take gratitude in form of credits. I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Protheans hey. you think they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, what like, stuff is that? To shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. Oh, were Stage they now? Profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Hmm. You're breaking the law, Cole. Breaking the law, anybody. breaking the law, <laughs> the breaking, the law breaking the law, breaking the law. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I don't have enough charm or intimidate. This should help. Let's move out. Good luck. Give me more! <laughs> I want more, damn it! Let's see. Uh, boop. How do I unequip? There we go. And now let's put Stinger 2. Wow, Stinger 2 is a lot better. Holy crap. And I put mechanical rounds on there. There we go. It's mine. Mine, I say. Wait. Oh, that's right. Uh, here we do. Here we do. Here we do. Here we do. Let's see. Uh, her, wait. Is. Crazy amount of time. Amount of time to jump recovery. Let's use the crystal skill. Obscure objects. Great sabotage. Okay. Electronics. Some overload because hell yes. Uh. Just pistol damage by two. Get a little sentinel in there. And barrier. Don't know if that's good or not, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Because I really don't care about Ashley or Caden. <laughs> there we go. Out of my way. I'm going to look in here. What else do you have stashed in here that's now mine? Got it. Take all. All would be mine. And I would equip them because they, like I said, they're all mine. <laughs> Schnipper, Grenades, Omni Tool. Uh, ooh, Shield Bonus, hell yeah. Who is taking us? <laughs> Honest civilians say they were smuggling. They were bad, bad people. Bad. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want a schnipper rifle that has lower accuracy. Alright, now, where's everything? Where do I go? Oh, wait, did I make sure to put the mod on that? 
I did. Good. Got it! Don't worry, that explosive barrel will not hurt anyone else ever again! I have saved you all! You owe me money. Hello there, Joeler! Greetings and salutations! Welcome back! Commander, uh -oh. it's Nihilus. No, it's not! Because there's, there's, uh, ooh, upgrade kit. That's what I'm more interested in. Chemical rounds, hammer, all right, take it all, please. Because I like my chemical rounds. I like them a lot. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. <laughs> Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. Dumbass. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. Then Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. Well, that's not very the nice of him. Was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, he'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. So as we, so yeah, this guess. game is proof that really sleeping on the to. job will save your life. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Hey, Box Fox, what's happening? It's like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And. It was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Oh, I hope you're feeling better soon. Or it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, well, Abraham Lincoln's also dead. So he can't argue or disagree with anything. Oh. We have, we have enemies? Oh, we have enemies. Aim, damn it. Where, where are you going? Hi. Gotcha. Oh, did I accidentally? I think I accidentally hit the Betty Jail button somehow. Where'd the other guy go? Was he dead? Oh, wait, no, no. He's over there. I see him. Oh, there you are. Show your ugly face. Your ugly, gethy face. Whoop. I got him. 
I hope it will too. Well, left shift to bring up the power wheel. The power wheel lets you use powers, especially abilities of your squad. Way ahead of you, game. Yeah, I, I beat you to it. Hi, Geth dudes. Ah. Let's see. Can I overload your face? Come on, come on, move, move! Wee! Whoa! Where, did, where, where exactly do you think you're going? What, what do you think you're doing there? Why did that work? Oh, it was still. Bye. Hello. Oh, this guy right there. That's guy right there. Hello. Whoops. Okay, that was almost bad. Did not see him there. Almost got my ass destroyed. I got this. Don't you work. I got this. I got this. Oh, hello. I got this. Thank you. Whee! Hey! You will stop this, sir. That's me. Um, got him. Not all. Just the ones that were right in front of me. There's a difference. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Hmm. <laughs> Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. 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 Yeah. 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 Shoot some more dudes, cause I really can. Excuse me. Where's the exit? Exit. Where's the exit? Is this the exit? That's not the exit. Oh, there's the exit. Found it! Eventually. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Well, you could do something other than standing there like Nini's telling me about it. You could go be off, off finding yourself. Don't you go throwing up shields, you douches. Got him! <laughs> Let's see, we got another one. Where, 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 where? Oh, wait, over here? Oh, there it is, I see it. Nah, no, can't get me! Can't get me! Can't get me! I'm invincible! I'm immortal! I'm immortal! Gonna sabotage you. Gotcha. Okay, where's another one? Trade ahead. Tra Whoa, crap! I saw there's a sight. No, no don't, don't. <laughs> it was when she took cover behind the the bomb. Out of my way! Out of my way! My covers. Guy. Hi. Oh. 
he did. Why? You mine. Hello. You are also mine. I have saved the day because of my awesome nosity. Where are you at? Where are you? My dudes were shooting at something. There you are. What are you doing down there, silly? Okay, fine. You went. Boop. Boop. Where'd you go? Don't be hiding. Come on now. We're all friends here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boop. Boop. Ah, darn it. Screw it. There we go. Any more baddies? How's the fight with the Ah! Stop it! You big meanie. I overload your face. There we go. I see you, Mr. Husk Man. You're going to get thrown because I can. No, what the? No, not the ground. The dude! Oh, hi. How you doing? Hmm. The sound is over. I think it's safe. Ooh, there's a crate. Ooh, there's another crate. Bye, please. I will take them all. All I say. How's the fight with the mobile Apple platforms going? <laughs> it's going well. It's going well. Can't complain. I mean, I could, but it wouldn't help nothing. But it's fun to do. Got it. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Put the weapon away. Anything up here? Any boxes or crates or secrets? Because I like boxes and crates and secrets. Those are, those are good things to have. Oh, stop being so goddamn fatigued. Do some do, do some uh, jogging every once in a while, Shepard. You have to take too, too easily. Come on, you're up, you were up for Spectre nomination. Ooh. Mine, please. All right, looks like that's uh, that, as they say. Unless there's anything else that I might have run past when I was uh, trying to kill all the enemies. Okay. Just down here. Nothing. That's a shame. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. <laughs> Hello? Out of my way! Move! Nothing. Oop. I don't have to get used to that. The shift does not run. That is it's still weird. I may have to actually mess with the keybinds when I you know, on my on my off time. When I'm on my me time. Just so I can like set it to something that's more comfortable. Because it feels weird to use space. All right, looks like that's that. All right, Prothea Beacon, time to give us a brain hug.
Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Or someone. Roger Normandy, standing by. Yes, walk towards the glowy light. Genius. Gotcha! Whee! No, don't touch it. It's too Oh. What a great movie. Um. I don't think they're going to be very happy. <laughs> it kind of exploded. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Ooh, someone seems a little upset. A little upset. This human must be eliminated. You can try. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Hi. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like I have a giraffe neck? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. You think? Oh, okay. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Well, thank I you. Appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. I'm not crazy. How You're crazy. Still holding up, Doctor. Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad oh, thank you. you. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Uh... I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Again. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. Hopefully, yes. yes. I'll stand Ho behind you Hopefully. and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. 
It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. Mm, you were there just sort of. the beacon self-destructed? Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? I saw a vision. Just before I lost consciousness. And not the one from Marvel Comics. Vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped Yeah, well, I'm a one-woman army, so um, we're good. <laughs> I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. Okay, we should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. And my own due time. I'll do what you want me to do just because you want me to do it. I mean, come on. Let's see. Oh god, I gotta remember the layout of the Normandy SR1. Oh my god, this almost looks foreign. It's like I vaguely remember parts of this. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm <laughs> glad we didn't lose you too. It was hard on the crew because I had to rem remind them who he was. Everyone I said, oh Jenkins died, they went, who? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. <laughs> Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Um... We were farmers? <laughs> My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that brought you any post in the fleet. Were sure, that's what it did, yeah. Citadel, Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Yeah, if we can prove it, you know. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. Well, good for Joker. I'm looking around at other yes, stuff. Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. Turns out military life isn't 
quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Never is. But humanity Never is needs now. the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? Wait, we already did this I one. I enlisted right up. Oh, but humanity needs the Alliance if we want we to keep expanding <laughs> through What do you trip. know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. <laughs> Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Ah, so he's outmoded. Okay. L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Oh! There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraine. Hmm. The occasional migraine in exchange for bio, you know, biotic and tech, you know, engineer powers. Ooh, tempting. Although I do hear migraines are terrible to have. It's like a, a headache times ten, so I mean... I don't know if that's worth it or not. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I don't know if I'd say that's worth it or not. I'm not sure. Hey, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Whoa, what happened to my head? Use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. You didn't even know him. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Because I need a meat shield. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. All right. Let's see. This is just a dead end. Yeah, it's just a dead end. So I'm still trying to remember the layout of the SR1. Marines make it bad when it's better than the crippling or other physical disabilities. There is that too, but for what it's, the way she made it sound, it sounds like. Uh, Caden only getting those is a, um, it's like he's lucky as hell that that's all he gets. Let's see, wait. 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 Where am I again? Oh! Hi, Captain Anderson! I'm, I'm barging into your room! Duke when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. But, but I wanted to, okay, be that way. <laughs> see if I can, which I do. Oh yes, I forgot. Elevators. And let's see. Wait, where am I? In the Norby's vehicle bay. Using a squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Do I have one of them? Okay, there's their officer. Oh, there's the rec officer. How you doing, buddy? Hey, commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Alright. Alright, I already got the Scorpion armor in there. Jesus. Alright. Scorpion 4. 
Which I think I got, what, Scorpion 2, Scorpion 1 armor in there? Already equipped? Alright. Interesting. I don't have much monies. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't think I actually. Yeah, I don't. I didn't set anything as junk yet. Looking for supplies? How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate. Items oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about we buying licenses. Port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I forgot about that. I already have that. several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Not right now, thanks. No problem. Keep checking back. Hello, Mako! The thing that I actually like, but most people hated. <laughs> Let's see here. So we got the lockers, which I don't need to play with right now. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. People hated the Mako. I mean, with a passion. Because of the way it handled. I, I had fun with it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Bounce around on planets. I had, a I had a ball with it. Is it moving? Oh, yeah, it's moving. I was like... I don't hear it moving. Where in space, no one can hear elevators move. Oh yeah, same here. Like I said, I, I loved it. But like I said, not a lot of people, other people did. It was it was one of those things that people were like, you know, Mass Effect, the near perfect game, except for the Mako. It was always that was always the conversation. Glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Hmm? Joker! <laughs> Conroom Cutter reminds me of a Jedi Council. <laughs> a little bit. Let's see. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. That's not the Citadel. That's a Mass Effect Relay. That's the Citadel. Well, that's Cloud. That those more clouds. Oh, wait, I seize it. I seize it through the clouds. That's the Citadel. There we go. Well, size isn't everything. Why <laughs> so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. It looks like a giant manta Look at ray. That monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. 
I've always loved this song. The, the, the Citadel theme, I've always loved it to no end. This, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. I don't know why, but I've always loved it. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? Me too, kitty. Me too. On the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson. I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have <laughs> the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Saren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission Don't make me slap you, Udina. was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clear. I'm not today. sure, Box Fox. <laughs> and that's why I hate politicians. Poor locations are marked on your map. Press M to access it. Oh, there is a map. I forgot about that. <laughs> ah, pretty map. It's the party. Look at all that point of interest. I'm going to go look at them and do things. <laughs> yeah. How do I go up and down floors? Can I go up and down floors? Uh, get that. Okay, that's not helping. Uh, well, here's the thing. Because I started so late, I'm not going to be able to play much longer. I actually need to... Um, End it today, unfortunately. Um, God, I wish I, I wish, really wish it wouldn't have had the same problem that I did. And I wish I didn't have the problem I had today, but unfortunately I did. And that sucks, because um, for those who didn't know, for those who came in late, the um, the game took forever to uh, update, and it wouldn't let me play until it was fully updated. And for whatever reason, my internet dropped into the kilobytes which took well over an hour to get all the updates updated. So that's why I was so late today. But, um, yeah. But I am going to talk about what we're going to do, though. I, I wanted to announce something because, you know, so far I've just been doing what I was, you know, what I'm doing. And, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, but um, in the future, we're going to be doing something a little different as, as this series progresses. Um, I'm gonna try. You know, I'm probably gonna do most of the, um, you know, most of the decision making myself. You know, most of the um, main story stuff. But uh, during the different assignments and side quests and different missions and stuff that uh, have choices and options and so on and so forth, I'm actually going to um, uh, pull randomly using some D and D dice uh, from my uh, from my faithful patrons who show up. And uh, hang out th throughout this series. You know, ro roll the dice, see who comes up, and uh, you know they'll be they'll be the ones making the decisions for those uh, side quests, assignments, and uh, encounters. You know, so that we can like make this like um, this joint story that we all sort of create together. Oh God, Blacktail, you're being silly. <laughs> so that's what I want to do. Because I mean, yeah, I've been picking a lot of Paragon options. I chose that one Renegade option. Yeah, I just. I'm a paragon at heart. <laughs> paragon till death. <laughs> uh, so I want to get, you know, see if I can get a little bit of uh, diversity in there. What other people would choose. So that's what we're going to do throughout, throughout this series. So I hope you join me. I hope uh, patrons, you'll come back and uh, help me 
develop a story and we'll do it together. But um, for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, and when I do that, you know what I do. Plug time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, if you enjoyed what you saw here and you're excited to see more, excited to play more like I am, then please stop over at my Patreon, patreon.com slash featherhoof underscore gaming, where for just a couple bucks a month, another thing can help support the channel, help it grow, help it get better equipment for the studio and whatnot. But you get something back in return from exclusive access to a Discord chat, um, access to um, exclusive unedited versions of all my videos, um, being voices on multiplayer Saturdays, stuff like that. I'll be uh, potentially being uh, put into the poll for uh, uh, into the pool for uh, being chosen for choosing uh, actions in this game, you know, stuff like that. But if none of that entices you, you could, of course, instead subscribe to this channel right here on Twitch, which instead will give you the ability to kill ads. Because let's face it, who doesn't love killing ads? And it gives you access to the emoticons, access to the emoticons being spammed by Ellie and Ellie and the Ellie. <laughs> um. Also remember, if you're an Amazon Prime or Prime Gaming subscriber, you can subscribe to one channel every 30 days for free, so why not make it this one? Cost you nothing extra, kicks a little bit back to the channel, and you still get access to the emoticon, so win-win. <laughs> but if you have absolutely no money to spend, I understand. Money can, money can be tight, I get that, but you can still support the channel for free. Absolutely nothing. First off by sharing it. Letting people know the channel is here, letting them know what we do, you know, help grow the community. Because the bigger the community, the more we can do with more people. And feedback. Feedback and constructive criticism helps out immensely. Keeps the channel growing, keeps it moving forward. More importantly, keeps it from moving backwards. And you can do so when this episode shows up on YouTube later, where in the comment section below, you can let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, things you'd like to see more of, less of, or just other games you'd like to see played on the channel. And that is my shtick. That is my spiel. I'm out of here for today. I'll be back tomorrow with a proper length episode, uh, hopefully. Um, and like I said, we'll be working together. We're working together as we unlock side quests and assignments and uh, different things like that. Because, uh, like I said, I want to, I want to do, I want a, you know, a patron story. Uh, you know, not just my Paragon story. Because I've done that before. Now it's time for the patron story to see what, what story we can make together. So I hope you'll join me for it. And uh, I hope, and, and even though you, if you might not be a patron, hey, I'd still like to have you along for the journey. You know, come, come on this journey with us. So until next time, y'all take care. Have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or sleep, whichever you're heading towards. And I will see you all next time.